Hey, welcome to my Slim and Well vlog. I'm Claire. I'm currently doing five days of Slim and Well motivation and today we're just going to chat. Hello and welcome back. My name's Claire. So a big huge welcome to my Slim and Well vlogs. I've been making these vlogs for ooh, a few months now and it is so great that so many of you are joining me here and repeatedly coming back. I love to hear from you, love to hear your comments and stuff and if you're new here then a big welcome and hi. So I've never officially, since I started this, done a video kind of introducing myself and speaking about my Slim and World journey and why I decided to create these videos. So I thought today that as we were gonna do the premiere, I would speak a little bit about that this evening and then hopefully we can just have a little chat about Slim and World, life, what struggles we have, keeping on plan in everyday life. And yeah, that's it, because I get some really good hints and tips from you guys. You send me really good food ideas and lots of support, which I would love to thank you for. I am um, obviously my latest series, what we're in the middle of now is five days of Slim and World Motivation. And the reason I randomly decided, and it was a very last minute thing, I didn't plan on doing this. It was literally because I have been so unmotivated and a little bit off plan for the last week or two. I don't know about you guys, but coming into winter and this time of year, there's so much going on and you've got events coming up and it gets a bit like, oh, I'll just leave it. And I was so tempted, so, so tempted to just throw the towel in or whatever the saying is and start again after Christmas. Now I'll tell you now, this is what I done last Christmas, okay? So I've made this kind of, pro I've made this kind of progress last Christmas and then coming up to this time of year, I work in a salon, we get chocolates in the salon, we get mince pies in the salon, our customers bring us in sweets and chocolates. And I just lost my willpower and I was like, do you know what, I'm gonna pick it up after Christmas. So I went for my way in after Christmas and I had put on eight pounds and then I just, that totally put me over the edge. So I just didn't bother going again. So all that progress was lost until I rejoined in about, we were going to Florida in May, so I joined Slim and World again a few months before that. And um, by that time I was then a stone and a half over where I had been previously. So it goes on quite quickly. And the difference in how I feel with having that stone, stone and a half on me, and not having that stone, stone and a half on me is quite immense. Like. I feel literally like a different person. So my Slim and Well journey is up and down. I've joined, I've unjoined. And my weight loss, I've never had huge weight losses. Like I know some people have got amazing stories. My sister is one of them. She lost five stone, five and a half stone previously on Slim and World. Um, I see other people who have lost eight stone, 10 stone, amazing, amazing losses. I can't claim to have ever had huge losses like that. The very first, um, time I started Slim and World was pre-children and pre-getting married and that was to fit in my dress. I think that time I lost around a stone, then I left and the next time when I rejoined was after I'd had my boys and that time I then lost around three stone. So I put on quite a lot of weight, obviously two babies. I felt very uncomfortable in myself. I think after you've had children or around that time of children, you're so wrapped up in enjoying them. I think my maternity leggings stayed on for months after having the boys, leggings and baggy tops. And it was actually, my sister had lost her weight in that time and it was around that time that she was looking amazing and I felt like a right old frump next to her. And that was what actually then made me go along to Slim and World with her. And that's kind of where my real Slim and World journey started because ever since then, I've always briefly followed the Slim and Well plan. So even if I'm not going to group my cooking, I still use Fry Light. I still cook like my spaghetti bolognese, things like that from scratch um, using Slim and World recipes, but other things slip. So, and that is where I get my weight gain. So consistently I join Slim and World, I lose the weight, I give up, I put the weight back on. So I'd like to keep it back off because I am currently just in my 11 stone zone, so I'm just under 12 stone. As soon as I get in the 11s, I'm in a much happier place with my body. Not that, I don't want to talk about weight and clothes sizes too much because I don't think that they're actually 
that relevant the weight we lose is relevant and the weight that we become happy with ourselves in is relevant but the actual number on the scales apart from letting that know that we're getting to where we want to be like you don't have to be a certain weight it's whatever weight you feel happy in so I don't want to talk about the figures too much but for me getting into that 11s if my number's got an 11 in front of it I'm happy in my body like I'm happier in my skin I know that the clothes that I want to wear fit and I feel happy with that because I remember um, after I had the boys and I was in my leggings and jeans and baggy tops, it didn't really bother me. The time it would bother me would be if we had an occasion and we were going out and I'd order a dress or something, which would be similar to the sort of thing I would have worn pre-children and I'd try it on and everything would look terrible. In day-to-day -day clothes, leggings and stuff, you, you don't really, I didn't really think about it. I was out at the, the dinosaur park, the soft play, it didn't really bother me, but it was when it came to getting dressed up or going out or even like buy a nice underwear, things like that, swimwear, going on holiday and putting swimwear on, just felt terrible in those sort of things. And I don't like feeling terrible. I've always been quite confident, quite body confident, confident in myself. So when, when I'm not happy with how I look and how my body looks, it knocks my confidence a lot and I don't feel or act how I wanna be. And that is what drives me to then rejoin Slimmer World and lose the weight and I do find that I need to go to group to lose that weight. If I'm not at group, it's the, it's the accountability. And this is kind of how it's worked with you guys and doing the vlogs. I feel like I probably would have thrown the towel in by now, but because I kind of have been doing these vlogs and it's probably not expected, but in my mind, I'm like, I need to do one every week. And that has kept me motivated to try different things. And it's also kept me motivated to continue me going to a slim and well group is invaluable i have an amazing group that i go to a really nice group of women and men we've got men in our class too let's not forget that um, men attend group two and the men have amazing weight losses they lose it so much easier it's obviously something to do with male metabolism but it seems to fly off them but anyway um going to group i find is what gets my backside in gear I could probably do without group a little bit easier with you guys here, but I just, um, no, going to group, I feel for my weight loss is essential. So if you can get to a group, I'm gonna recommend you do it because the support that you get in group is amazing. I like going to group because it's like a little brainstorm and you get ideas from everyone and you'll think of things that you haven't tried. I guess kind of similar to watching my vlogs or other people's vlogs, you pick up tips and foods and things that you haven't thought of and you haven't tried. So that is what group is great for. It's really great for the support and the ideas. And you'll also have your consultant who can give you a lot more in-depth detail on the plan and how it works than maybe someone on here can. So although these are great sources of Slimming World information, if you can go to a group, I highly recommend it. For me, it just doesn't, I just don't hold myself accountable enough. I'm not grown up and responsible enough to do it by myself. So group works really well for me. And I am lucky that I found an amazing group. I have a really good, helpful consultant. I have been to groups in the past where I have sat there and thought I could not sit through this on a weekly basis, which you know, there's always people you're going to click with and people you don't click with. So if you have been to a group and you've been maybe not over enthralled by it, then try another, try another group because there will be a consultant out there who matches you, matches your personality and is going to give you what you need and inspire you to go to group. You need to be inspired, you need to be interested. So find that consultant that keeps you interested. Obviously you have got the app, you can have the app. I've never, joined, I've never joined online, I've always gone to a group. Um, when you do go to group, obviously you'll have access to the Slim and World app. Now I find this invaluable because I'm constantly scanning food in the supermarket and looking up sin values. Obviously without that you're guessing and relying on other people to tell you the sin values and sin values do change. So for this reason, just the app is an invaluable tool that you get with group like to speak a little bit about why Slim and World works for me. Obviously there are lots of weight loss plans out there, there are lots of juice diets and different diets and point system diets, calorie counting diets, all different ways of losing weight. Now Slim and World, I've got to be honest, is the only weight loss plan that I've ever particularly used and stuck to. And one of the main reasons it works for me is because I am always busy and I'm also a bit lazy. 
So for me, Slim and World is all figured out. All I've got to do is put the food together. I've got my free foods and as long as I have a good sort of knowledge of what they are, I've got my speed foods, I've got my hex A's and my hex B's and it's there. All I've got to do is weigh and measure my hex A's, which I can just about cope with and figure out my sins. If I, for instance, was on another food, another diet, another weight loss program, and I only had a certain amount of food and I ran out of points or food by the end of the day, I am telling you now that as soon as I ran out and it was, uh, you can't eat anything else today, I would be in the fridge. I am literally that person that if I can't have something, I want it. So I know that I would struggle with that. And as I've said, I'm also not that good at keeping track of things. So with Slim and World, free foods, and you know, I can pretty much get through a day on free foods and work out if I've had a hex A or a hex B. There's not too much figuring out to do in that. So if I'm out and about and I'm hungry, I know what I can pick up and I know what I can eat. So that works for me. And also it's the quantities of food that work for me. Like I like a big plate of food. So being able to have nice big dinners, and if I'm sticking to free foods, unlimited quantities of that works really well for me. You will notice that the meals that I show in my vlogs, they are quite big meals because I'm an eater and I do like to eat. I'm also a very emotional eater. I eat when I'm happy. So going out at a weekend, having a weekend away, going on holiday, I plan around my food. What I'm gonna eat and drink is a really important part of that. Like I enjoy going out for food. I enjoy eating and drinking. When, I'm annoyed. <laughs> I head to the fridge. I like to eat. Um, definitely the winter comfort food has been a thing for me. So moment with this weather, this time of year, what I want to do is eat. I find comfort in food and, you know, I wish I was one of those people that if I was angry or agitated or upset, I stopped eating, but I don't. I eat more. So Slim World works for me due to the easiness of working out. Once you know the plan, it's very easy to work out what you can have. It works for me because I don't run out of points and I don't run out of food. There is always the option at the end of the day, if I've got some sins left, to have a yogurt or a snack or something, but I could always have fruit. I can always have some of a, a free dish that I've made up that I might have in my fridge. And that works really well for me. Obviously, other people get on with different things. I do see a lot of clashes over um, people following calorie plans and people following Slim and Wild and things on Instagram. But at the end of the day, it is whatever plan works for you. If you want to calorie count, calorie count. If you want to do a juice diet, do a juice diet. If you want to do Slim and Wild, do Slim and Wild. I just feel that for me, for the longevity and something that I can carry on into everyday life, Slim and Wild works. So that is why I follow the Slim and Wild plan. Um, so obviously we're doing this premiere and I believe we now have kind of a live chat facility going on that should have been going on throughout this video and I'm going to hang around for a little while now to answer any questions you have. So if you want to share some fab food ideas with me, if you want to pick my brains on some breakfast ideas or lunch ideas or anything like that, please do so. I've never done this before, so I'm not 100% sure on how it works, but hopefully, from what I've read, this is kind of the deal. You watch the video, you ask me questions. We'll have a chat. We'll see how it's going. So it'd be nice to chat to some of you. Hopefully some of you are here. Um, and yeah, that is my five days of motivation. I hope I've motivated you a little bit in my being unmotivatedness. <laughs> um, hopefully it has helped someone Oh, I was going to speak about why I started doing the vlogs. So I've spoken to my husband for years. I've always been saying I'd love to do my own YouTube channel. I'd love to do it. But who would watch it? And this year, bizarrely enough, we decided as we were going to Disney, we wanted to do a vlog of our travels because it's an amazing holiday. And we wanted those memories as well as being able to share the information. Because when we were looking at our Disney holiday, YouTube was the first place we went to try and find things out. So we done the vlogs of Disney and when I came home, I think it was similar to like this week really, I was back on Plan Slim and World feeling a little bit unmotivated and I just decided to film a day on Slim and World and I put that vlog on and I had gained hundreds of followers overnight. It was like, I was like, oh my goodness, this is so popular. So, um, 
and then I got all the lovely comments from you guys and it inspired me to keep going with the Slimmerwell blogs and that is where it has gone from. I think I've been doing them now since maybe June, July. And the response I've had from you guys is really, really good. I am so appreciative that you actually come and watch my video. I still can't actually believe that, that I mean, I am sharing and I do get a lot of comments on how honest I am. And that is, it's just, <laughs> it is just me. I'm not very good at telling stories. And literally I'm filming what I'm doing. And at the moment we are super busy. So I don't really have time to do anything fancy or it is just filming what I am eating. So pure honesty here, it is what it is. Um, it would be nice in the future when we are a bit more settled and in our new place to actually go out and find some really exciting meals or take some things out with the books and cook them properly and just um, do some more planned things rather than literally just filming what I'm doing. So it would be nice to do that. But I'm so glad that you've been enjoying the vlogs and I'm really, really, it makes, I'm over the moon, I'm really dead chuffed that it um, does inspire you and help some of you. So many of you saying that you have been motivated by the five days of motivation video this week. So yeah, thanks ever so much for joining me. Any questions? I guess you just ask. So yeah, Slim and World related, obviously. Um, what else is going on? Not a lot. I'm gonna go and make myself a fresh coffee and then just sit and have a little cuddle with my Chester here while I put this video together and get it loaded up for you. And we'll have a chat later. I will be putting on another vlog for our five days of motivation, which will be going on tomorrow. And that will include today's food and hopefully tomorrow's food. Now, I don't know why I, well, I don't, yeah. I don't know why I included up to Friday on my five days because I do work a long day on a Friday and it's a solid day. So I don't really have time to edit this. So I will edit my today's version. It might just be today's food that go on tomorrow. Yeah, it probably will just be what I've had to eat today that is gonna go on tomorrow's vlog because I will get to edit that tonight and pop that on scheduled, ready for tomorrow. And that will be our five days. So thank you for watching the five days. I'm amazed how many of you have been dedicated enough to watch all five days on the trot, three days, four days now. And let me know if you would like to do this again. I have had a few people saying they'd like it to continue for longer. And as much as I would love to keep going with daily uploads, um, it's been, it's, it's took some dedication to get the vlogs done in a day, edited, and then on, on the evening. Um, as much as I love that, I currently coming up to Christmas with work, I just can't do that every day. So I'll continue to upload once or twice a week as much as I can. And then maybe after Christmas in January, we could do another five day one because um, I think we'll all need it then, won't we? So if you are new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and stay with me for future Slim and Well vlogs. And yeah, ask your questions. I think I'll be here <laughs> and we'll see how this um, premiere thing works. Because I'm like I've mentioned several times because I'm just blubbering on now. Not 100% sure how it works, but if it is a live chat function, I think it'd be quite nice to do it more regularly. Nice to have a little chat and a catch up and share some ideas and brainstorm because you can pick up things by reading through the comments that other people suggest as well. I've had some really cool suggestions over the last couple of weeks. One that I'm definitely gonna be trying is getting some mince meat that goes in the mince pies and putting that in my porridge and rice pudding. I just bought some Alpro milk when I was in Tesco's to make a rice pudding when I got home. I haven't got no pudding rice. <laughs> so when I make a rice pudding next week, I am gonna get some mince meat and I'm gonna try adding that. I think that'll be a lovely topping. Anyway, I'm gonna go now because I'm just rambling. I'm gonna get this all uploaded and set for the premiere and please ask away with your questions and I look forward to speaking to you.